Hi Scorpio, this is your monthly November tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about work, business, finances, and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of November. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this month we have the five of swords clarified by strength and the eight of wands we have death we have the world we have the empress clarified by the six of pentacles and the chariot and we have the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra or aquarius or a leo or another scorpio or a cancer yeah i had to pull all those clarifiers because i wasn't really sure what's happening but i think i came to the uh, conclusion um, I think you, Scorpio, are going to win at a competition or you are going to win somebody over. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So the Five of Swords, I know you can barely see it. It's clarified by strength and the Eight of Wands, it's to the left. The Five of Swords, one of its meanings is a, a win at any cost, at any means necessary. And I think ex that's exactly what's happening here. Because it's clarified by strength and the 801. Strength is uh, actual strength. You will have to um, either win at this competition or to eventually win this person over. Right? And then the 801 is uh, the Cupid's Arrows card. So this is all about love. Then we have death. This is your personal card, Scorpio. I hope you know that. And it's always a good sign to have your own card in a spread like this or in any spread. That means that you're the one in charge. You're the one calling the shots. And I think that's exactly what you're going to do. You are going to prevail and uh, you will use whatever tools you'll need to uh, win here. Then we have the world. The world is... Um, an end of a chapter card this is when one chapter is ending of your life and another chapter of your life beginning to me personally the world is the happy end card so there will be a happy ending you are going to get what you want um, we have the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra or, or Aquarius but I think the knight of swords goes uh, very nicely together with the five of swords because the knight of swords is um, the most fearless knight and uh, this is the one that attacks <laughs> if you take a closer look at the knight of swords you will see that this uh, knight is uh, galloping towards uh, somebody and uh, there is no stopping this person and that's exactly what I feel you are going to do this month um, you are going to just bulldoze or over whatever obstacles you have as long as you get the person you really desire then we have the Empress clarified by the six of Pentacles and uh, the chariot those three cards are actually the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and uh, those three cards came out so the outcome is very very positive so like I said you are going to win here you are gonna get the person you want you desire you wish for Right, the Empress uh, is uh, abundance in its purest form. The Empress is the mother of the tarot deck. Um, in, in my readings, the Empress always shows up to sort of give its give their uh, stamp of approval or to oversee this connection to make sure it comes into fruition. Right then, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take. This is relation. This relationship once established <laughs> is going to be very balanced out and uh, an equal give and take type of a relationship and then we also have the chariot the chariot is all about moving forward together with this person the chariot is kind of similar to the knight of swords energy the chariot is um, moving forward and overcoming obstacles whatever obstacles you will have in your way you will be uh, just bulldozing over them there is no stopping you, Scorpio. You are really, really determined to get this person here. And I really do believe that this energy is coming from you. This is what you are going to do, not the other way around. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. I've seen all kinds of situations in my life, so I wouldn't be surprised if a feminine <laughs> viewer 
does something like that. So, um, yeah, Scorpio, because uh, love is like war. Whatever methods you use are, you know, are going to work out for you. Okay, so that's what I have for you so far. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only because that's what people are interested in the most. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Nine of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Sun and we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a great spread, very balanced out. We have Cups, we have wands, we have pentacles, and we have the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. And it's the only major arcana. So you'll be really, really happy in November, Scorpio, together with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other. The sun could also represent uh, someplace warm. So you could go someplace warm together. Could be a quick weekend getaway, or you could be um, traveling for a week or a couple of weeks. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This work, this is a work card, so you will have work. That's a good thing nowadays, right? <laughs> or the two of you will be working on this relationship, or you'll be working on this marriage, right? Then we have the Nine of Cups, the first card on the left. This is a wish fulfillment. So you're just happy to be in this relationship. And we also have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is all about passion. Uh, perhaps the two of you will decide to spice things up behind closed doors, if you know what I mean, right? So yeah, like I said, this is a very balanced out and a very happy and a very abundant uh, spread. I've got nothing else to add besides the fact that the two of you are just happy to be together. You're happy to be in this marriage or this relationship. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this month. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We don't know. So we have the Hermit, we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Star, and we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. So the Ten of Swords um, got me thinking. The first thing I thought was that the, your Hermit mode, being by yourself, that period of your life is coming to an end with the Ten of Swords. And uh, then we have the star, which is a wish come true. So whoever is coming back, then, uh, yeah, you'll be getting back together because we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles is all about a committed relationship or even marriage. And, uh, yeah, then we uh, I got a clarifier with of the tea, uh, Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands comes out, right? Uh, the Six of Wands is all about uh, a victory, uh, personal success. So, yeah. That's exactly um, what's happening. The Hermit mode is coming to an end, even if you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, I think that your time being by yourself is coming to an end, and you'll feel really happy about it. And the star, like I said, is uh, a wish come true. So perhaps you've been wishing for this person to come back around and uh, get into a committed relationship with you. Or it could be the other way around. You could be uh, their wish come true. <laughs> okay, but the main idea here is that um, you are getting into a committed relationship or even marriage at some point down the road with the Ten of Pentacles and the Star card. So, um, happy for you. You're getting back together. You're going to bury the hatchet and uh, move forward together. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, in November. We have the Two of Pentacles, then we have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands and the Tower. We have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces, or you could be dealing with, a war, uh, with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, uh, you got to be very, very careful, Scorpio, this month, because we've got the Seven of Swords right there. This is a card of a deception. This is a card of a cheater. This is a card of somebody who is up to no good. And uh, I clarified the Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands with the Tower came up. So, somebody is making a plan to do something really, really dishonest or do something really, really that would hurt you when it comes to your work, business, and finances. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody coming up with a plan or making a decision and is clarified by the Tower. The, far, the Tower is all about destruction. 
So somebody wishes you very bad. They really want to hurt you. It could be a co-worker at your workplace. Perhaps they'll report you or perhaps they'll uh, stab you in the back. If, this, if you run your own business, then you got to be on the lookout for a really rogue um, business partner or if somebody could write a really bad review on you, right? Something among those lines. Uh, so if somebody makes you an offer to start a new job or to start a new project or if somebody asks you for, say, access to a certain file or a certain... Um, program at work, be very careful. Make sure that they have uh, authorization from a boss or from whoever um, the authorization in, is needed to do from. Right? So be very careful, be on the lookout. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Scorpio, for the whole month of November. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hangman. We have the Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. I know we have two Knights here, so you could be dealing with uh, two different people. But I keep hearing this phrase in my head, to seize an opportunity. Especially if somebody hesitates, then you need to seize some sort of an opportunity. It could be in re related to work, business, finances, or it could be related to love. I don't know. I really don't. So, uh, yeah, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hangman. So if there is going to be some kind of a stuck situation, um, then you need to end it by seizing some sort of an opportunity with the Knight of Swords and you need to rush in, to swoop in and uh, do whatever you need to do, right? Uh, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles, or it could be rela in related, it could be related to finances in some way. Okay, and uh, then you can move forward with the Knight of Cups offer. So seize an opportunity with the Knight of Swords, swoop in, rush in, and make your offer with the Knight of Cups. Uh, it could be, again, in regards to love or finances. I can't really think of anything else to say here. Okay, Just keep that phrase in mind. Um, if you do get into a situation, or if... Uh, you notice that somebody is hesitating, this is your chance to take something over or someone over or to win someone over, okay? So, what you can tell to that other person is, uh, you snooze, you lose. Here comes Scorpio, taking the chance and grabbing the opportunity, okay? Cool. Scorpio, um, Happy birthday! <laughs> Hopefully this uh, year will be much better for you than the previous year. If you've been happy in the previous year, I hope happiness will continue. Um, other than that, Scorpio, have a great month. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.